Ethereum's price chart is a roller coaster. Sharp peaks, deep valleys, and wild swings. But Ethereum is more than just numbers. It's about big ideas and a community building the future of the internet. Why does Ethereum matter? Because it asked, what if a blockchain could do more than just track money? Bitcoin is digital gold, a secure way to send money without a bank. Ethereum wanted to be the smartphone of blockchains, a platform for apps, not just transactions. This ambition set Ethereum on a path of innovation and chaos. Its journey is full of breakthroughs and setbacks, each reflected in its price swings. Every peak and crash tells a story of growing pains and progress. To understand Ethereum, we need to go back to its origins. A young founder, a big idea, and a vision for a new kind of internet. Ethereum's story isn't just about price, it's about potential. Like your phone, which became so much more than just a phone, Ethereum aimed to transform what blockchains could do. It's a platform for developers worldwide to build the future. The result? A history that's anything but boring. So, what's behind the wild ride? It's the story of trying to build something the world has never seen. Let's dive into how it all began. It started with a bold question and a leap into the unknown. In 2013, Vitalik Buterin saw Bitcoin's power, and its limits. He imagined a blockchain that was programmable, a global computer for unstoppable, censorship-proof apps. His white paper launched Ethereum, not just another coin, but a playground for developers. The mission? Build a decentralized world computer run by thousands of independent nodes. Apps on Ethereum can't be shut down or censored by any single entity. This was the leap from decentralized money to a decentralized internet, what we now call Web3. Unlike Bitcoin's simple ledger, Ethereum's blockchain can store and execute code. That's the difference between a calculator and a full computer. Bitcoin is digital gold, Ethereum is a foundation for new apps and services. In 2014 Ethereum's crowd sale raised funds from believers in the vision. By July 2015 the first version, Frontier, went live. The experiment had begun. Could a world computer really work? Ethereum's launch set the stage for a digital revolution built on code. It was a bold bet on a more open, programmable internet, and it changed the crypto world forever. Ethereum's killer feature? Smart contracts. Think of them as digital vending machines put in the right input. Get the output, no middleman. A smart contract is code on the blockchain that automatically enforces agreements. Bet on a game? The contract pays the winner, no trust needed. This simple logic powers decentralized apps dApps, built on Ethereum. DeFi lets you lend, borrow, or trade without banks, the rules are just code. Artists use smart contracts to sell NFTs tracking ownership and royalties automatically. In games, blockchain items are truly owned by players not companies. All of this is possible because Ethereum lets anyone program rules into money and assets. It's a transparent, open system, no gatekeepers, just code. From finance to art to gaming, smart contracts are the engine of Ethereum's innovation. That's how Ethereum became the world's programmable blockchain. Ethereum's history is a series of explosive moments. In 2017, the ICO boom saw projects raise millions using Ethereum's smart contracts. Ether's price soared, then crashed in the crypto winter of 2018. The hype faded but builders stayed, improving the network's speed and efficiency. DeFi and NFTs sparked new waves of innovation in 2020 and 2021, driving prices to new highs and network congestion. The biggest milestone? The merge in 2022. Ethereum switched from energy-hungry proof-of-work to eco-friendly proof-of-stake. It was like swapping a rocket's engine mid-flight, and it worked. Energy use dropped by 99%, proving Ethereum could evolve. The merge set the stage for faster, cheaper upgrades. Ethereum's story is one of constant reinvention. Zoom out, and Ethereum's history reveals a pattern. Innovation, hype, correction, and building. A breakthrough, like ICOs or DeFi, sparks excitement and a price surge. Hype brings speculators, network congestion and scams. The bubble bursts, prices crash and the tourists leave. But in the quiet, developers fix problems and build new solutions. Each bear market lays the groundwork for the next leap forward. The cycle repeats, new tech, new hype, new highs. It's not just chaos, it's a rhythm of progress. Crypto cycles are fast and dramatic but each one leaves Ethereum stronger. More users, more developers, more real-world use cases. The wild swings aren't random, they're the pulse of innovation. Ethereum cycles are how it grows. Now in 2025, Ethereum is focused on scaling up. Layer 2s, like Express Lanes, aim to make transactions fast and cheap. The big question, what's the next killer app? Decentralized social media? Tokenized real-world assets? Or something we can't imagine yet? 
The platform is ready for the next big idea. Challenges remain, user experience, regulation, and security. Developers are working to make Ethereum safe and accessible for everyone. The story is a cycle of creation, speculation and building. After every winter comes a new spring of innovation. The foundation is set for Ethereum's next leap. So, what do you think the next big pattern will be?